Hi, I'm Sherry Benchley, Roscommon County United Way Executive Coordinator. This year, we invite you to join our campaign of Neighbors Helping Neighbors. United Way is a collaboration of volunteers, professionals, local businesses, foundations, corporations, and donors that come together to help the community. They are local people reaching out in their community to help each and every individual they can. Remember, United Way, we are the hand raisers, the game changers. Join us for our campaign. Hello, I'm Lori Roberts from Ross Common County Habitat for Humanity. I've been the executive director for the last six years, and I'm proud to introduce you to two very important people in my life that we have just placed in a Habitat home a couple months ago. This is Maria, and this is her daughter, Alyssa. Habitat for Humanity's goal is to offer affordable housing for low-income families in Ross Common County. Since we were established in 1990, we have placed 58 families in homes of their own. It's through organizations like United Way that support us that allows us to accomplish this goal, as well as our ReStore, where we accept donations in the community, we turn around and sell them, and that money goes towards accomplishing what we're doing. Maria, would you like to talk about your beautiful home that you have? I have a three bedroom. Um, I've been trying with the program for three years when I finally got into the program and um, started to go to classes and work on my credit and learned how to be a homeowner. Um, Lori helped me through the program and was helpful. And then I got into the house and got approved. So we helped build it. Hi, I'm Jojean Thompson and I'm with Artesia Youth Park and I want to thank United Way and all the agencies that support United Way for sponsoring the mentoring program for Artesia Youth Park. Artesia Youth Park was started about 15 years ago. We remodeled an old road commission building with the help of many, many donors and sponsors in the Roscommon County area, a lot of friends, a lot of elbow grease taking an old, smoky, oily building and turning it into a fun place for kids to skate, to play ball, for families to gather together, for community groups to come in and have their meetings. And we do fundraisers and sponsor a lot of different things in our community, trying to refresh our community and bring life to it. Hi, my name is Rick Green, I'm United uh, Roscommon United Way board member. I also work for Lear Roscommon and the UAW Local 1819 and IWE. And my biggest job as a dad in this community. And I um, can't say enough nice things about our Jesus Youth Center. It's a great place for kids to go. It has a value system to where the kids feel safe. It's great watching them play basketball, do skate park, anything that they're doing, their mentoring programs, all the stuff that is available for the community that as a single parent makes me great to know that kids can go there and have a chance to have a viable chance to do something without having to worry about the bads being put into the world. Hi, I'm Sarah Kyle at 211 Northeast Michigan. We're here asking you and thanking you for your contributions to United Way. With United Way funds, we are able to take calls, chats, texts, emails 24 hours a day from folks who are in need of services. In 2018, we helped over 800 families in Roscommon thanks to your contribution. And in 2019 and 20, we, helped, we hope to help even more. With your contribution, we can make sure that we're making referrals to housing. Uh, in 2018, we made over 300 referrals to folks who needed housing help. When it comes to food, we made almost 200 food referrals. So when folks need a place to go, they can call us 24 hours a day thanks to your contribution. So we ask that you continue to support your United Way because you're helping someone get help, a listening ear, 24 hours a day. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Rebecca Yunker, the Executive Director of the Northern Michigan Children's Assessment Center. I'm here today to talk a little bit about our services and how we provide services to kids in our community. The mission of the Children's Assessment Center is to provide, is really to reduce the trauma of child abuse and neglect by providing prevention, intervention, and advocacy. But in order to do this, we really need the community's help. We are a nonprofit agency that works with our community to make sure that we're providing the best evidence-based services to our kids who have experienced trauma. So along with doing our fundraising events and writing grants, we have a great relationship and have partnered with United Way. With their support, we're able to continue providing our services to our kids. It allows us to have more time so we're not out doing fundraising events um, and can provide more services to the kids in our community. We really meet our mission, which is to reduce the trauma by working closely with protective services and law enforcement. Anytime a child uh, discloses or there's concerns that a child was abused or neglected, law enforcement and protective services brings that child here to our nice child-friendly environment. So the kids are interviewed here in a way that is non-leading, it's non-suggestive, in an environment that's gonna reduce that trauma. Um, after that interview, there's multiple services that that child may need. That child may need a medical exam. The majority of our kids are disclosing that they have been sexually abused. So a child who needs a medical exam then can come back to the same child-friendly environment. Kids no longer have to go to the emergency room, have to go back to maybe a primary care physician who's not trained to do the appropriate medical exam that that child needs. They can come back here again to this nice child-friendly environment that reduces that trauma that I'm um, going through that medical exam. And then we all know that kids who have experienced trauma have to receive services, um, medical or mental health services. So mental health services then are also provided here at the Children's Assessment Center. We have therapists that are trained in cognitive behavioral therapy with that trauma focus. Um, so we're really partnering with our community to make sure that we're building a healthy community. So just like United Way has their mission of building a healthy community, we want to also be able to work with the families in our community to make sure that our kids are healthy, our families are healthy, that we can continue to grow um, and build that healthy community. And again, like I mentioned, um, all these services are free of charge to our family. So kids can come in for that forensic interview, a medical exam, all counseling services are free. And we only are able to do that because we partner with our community and partner with United Way. The support that we get from United Way allows us to be able to provide these services. So in order for United Way to help support us, they need your support. So by making a donation, by renewing your donation, and keeping those pledges coming to United Way, you are our partner. You're working with us to keep our kids safe, you're working with us to build a healthy community, and you're partnering not only with United Way, but even with our agency in work allowing us to provide these services to our kids. So as the director of the Children's Assessment Center, I want to thank you for supporting our community. Thank you for supporting United Way and partnering with us so we can continue providing these great services to our children. Hi, I'm Tom Pettit. I am the director of the Ross Common County Commission on Aging. Every year, we deliver over 80,000 Meals on Wheels to homebound seniors within Ross Common County. We are able to do this at a suggested donation of $250 a meal. The reason we're able to do this are grants through agencies such as the United Way. One of the good things about your United Way contribution is that these funds stay locally. You are helping to care for individuals in the community that you already know. Whether it's a child that's been abused or a senior wanting to age in place in their home, your contribution stays local. I'd like to thank you for contributing to the United Way campaign. It is your donation, your contribution that helps us care for our seniors. If you have not yet decided to contribute, I hope you will. Again, these funds stay local.
as Sherry mentioned at the beginning of the video, United Way, they are the problem solvers, the hand raisers, the game changers. Thank you.